Well, as you can see for this episode of the Shop Talk podcast, once again, we have so valiantly upgraded Lance Egan. <laughs> this time, we just put him down. He is <laughs> no, gone. No, when he's out of the he's country, a, he's at Worlds. He's at, at well, Worlds. he's probably back by now, but uh, he's still his his body and soul are going to be dragging behind a few days. Yeah. Anyway, Madison is our shop manager at uh, the Jimmy's location in Idaho Falls. Right. And if, if yeah. you didn't know, which a lot of people don't, we have a location in Idaho Falls, the center of really really good trout fishing probably some of the best in the world and uh we've been running with that one what three three months a little over three months madison it seems like it's been a long madison I and i have worked say... a lot together this <laughs> summer she's sick of me you know what? i'm gonna go start our timer sorry this is why brigham never gets it right he forgot we he didn't push the timer gosh dang it how do I do this? Well, Brigham so rudely kiboshed this podcast already. And we're not starting over. That's part we're of going. it. We're going. We won't to, even edit it. People need to see that. <laughs> it's if like you're how listen, the sausage is made. If you're listening, um, let me just paint the picture for you. Uh, to my horror, I looked up and our little clock that tells us how long we've been talking to you, the button hadn't been pushed. Un and unacceptable. Kind of had a little freak out, so I apologize for that. Anyway, Madison, tell us all about you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm the new store manager at Jimmy's, and um, I'm born and raised in Idaho Falls. Wait, you're not from Utah? No. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> we don't want Utah. We don't want Utah advice. We want Idaho advice. Yeah. yeah. So... Um, yeah, so I'm born and raised in Idaho Falls. I kind of grew up in the fly fishing industry and have always really enjoyed to fly fish. And Wait, let's back up. Hold okay. on. When you say you grew up in the fly fishing industry, what does that mean? So my grandparents started high drift boats. And um, so my dad worked there. And then I grew up going to expos with them, working in the shop, cleaning or making decals during the summer. And um, yeah, so I just kind of grew up fly fishing and going on different endeavors that direction. Yeah, so that's that's what Madison means when she grew up in the industry. She literally she did. She literally did. Yeah. I got adopted into it when I was like 42 or something. <laughs> They're very understanding parents, you know. <laughs> anyway, so. Yeah. Sorry, I cut you off because I thought that was an important part that we needed to talk about, you know. Because I think that when some, you know, when, as we work together, some guys will come in and they see a girl or like, oh. I even had one guy said, do you even fish? Yeah. <laughs> and I just say to him, no, they just hired a store manager that doesn't fish at all. Yeah. And yeah. we just saw her walking by. So, oh, you know, she could probably yeah. do the job. Yeah. yeah. yeah she's, <laughs> she seems nice. Let's just hire her. Yeah. There you go. So. How many years total did you work at Hyde? So I worked there full time for seven years. Yeah. And then um, part time. I mean, it's a family business, so you grow up yeah. doing family business things. So I worked yeah. there, like I said, cleaning or doing decals um, from the time I was pretty young. Yeah. And yeah. when did you learn to row? Um, I got more into it probably when I was like 15, 16. Yeah. yeah. So you've been rowing for a while. Yeah. For a little bit. She teaches rowing classes. Oh, yeah, yeah. She, you, you've done that in the past. Um, and uh, you, you even were on the sticks. Wait, did we have you row me and AJ? I can't remember. I've gone on so many floats. Uh, I don't think I did. I oh, think yeah, I we, just happily chilled in the back. Yeah, because <laughs> we kept saying, you want, you want to row? We're, we're totally fine. And you're like, no, no, uh, keep swell. <laughs> so you swapped a back seat all day for not rowing. That's, that's a good change. That's that's a good exchange, right? Hey, there you go. When you when you're on one of those chill after work floats, when you get off the water at 10 p.m. Yeah. You know. <laughs> no, well. it's it's been super fun. Um, I've spent more time in Idaho than Utah this summer. Um, just kind of going up and 
Uh, the whole team up there is is phenomenal. I mean, the, what we were able to pull off in such a short amount of time was awesome. And it's just because, you know, everybody up there buys in. You know, I've been able to leave and you guys crush it up there. So it, it's cool watching it all take shape. You know, I don't have to worry. <laughs> Curtis probably worries when I go up there because I'm going to screw stuff up. So No, Madison's under control. She's got it under control. Yeah, yeah. It is a little bit like a tornado when you come up and we have to like <laughs> deal with the cheech aftermath. <laughs> yeah, because like I, I'm a big big picture guy. I just got to say, I got to start pointing where stuff goes and it eventually works out, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been super fun up there. Um, yeah, so we experienced the drakes, the salmon flies, like the fishing up there is amazing, right? Yeah. Um, I think that's what a lot of people don't really quite understand is how much good fishing there is within like an hour drive of where the shop is. I mean, it's, it's a really cool, you know, you just don't realize how much good water there is. So if you yeah. want to come and visit and do some good trout fishing, come up and visit us up there and we'll point you in the right direction or by we, I mean, Madison, and <laughs> yeah, Madison and AJ. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I think that people don't realize like, people in utah or in the wasatch front you know it's a three and a half four hour drive to get to the green river yeah. from here it's about the same to get to the south fork or the henry's fork and man like there there's just so much more water up yeah. there um to to go fish and he, there's a lot to explore yeah we're, i mean we're pretty fortunate to live like right in the center of world-renowned fly fishing and i mean it's it's hard to not take that for granted when you when you see people travel from like truly all over the oh, world yeah. Yeah. to go fish waters that are pretty well in your backyard mm -hmm. so yeah that's awesome so what's your favorite style of fishing madison well <laughs> <laughs> I already um know. well uh euro nymphing is kind of my euro thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's because of your long arms you're gonna yeah really exactly far. No, um, I kind of the last couple of years have really just been focusing on fishing big foam and kind of what was really cool about being in the area you are like that we're in, um, you can fish different like stonefly patterns starting in April through September. And when you're throwing a size 10 squala in april when your fingers are freezing it's kind of fun to just like oh, yeah. mix oh, yeah. it up and you're not having to you know nymph or throw streamers and you get to see big fish come after big foam so oh yeah yeah and she's an assassin we'll be trying to figure all this stuff out in the front of the boat and she's just picking them off in the back um but yeah i mean we hear that a lot if you go up at, up to the shop at at jimmy's we have a pretty big foam selection right yeah. so by next spring especially once our inventory is filled in um i think we printed out those freaking damn little tags that i had to put <laughs> on every every spot uh 4500 different <laughs> flies up there and that's way more than we have here in utah it's so crazy people don't realize that though yeah we had to we had to accommodate so many we brought hatches. in i don't know 1500 or so for just jimmy's um, they traditionally didn't have as many flies that they would sell there in a variety of patterns. And so we kind of went through the hatches and dialed in what we wanted to bring in. And, and we do have them on the website now too. So it's, it's been cool. Yeah. Lots and lots of flies. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, we, we spend all this time thinking about what kind of flies to use. And then it, I think it was two summers ago the only fly i used all summer was a pink water walker and i'm like it's like you, salmon fly pink water walker goldens are out pink water walker like it just was like such a and this good is color freaking that... true too because here's me trying to get some research and development done we tied that not a pink worm blob yeah <laughs> and i say hey madison go fish it so she took it out was it you fishing it or was it someone, someone i think else? it was alec yeah so he casts out hooks up on it Next cast, cast out, hooks up on it, and then cuts it off and fish dries the rest of the day. Yeah, so we just needed to know it worked, and it worked, and Goodness so great. move on to the fun stuff, right? <laughs> Goodness gracious. So, yeah, talking about stubborn, you know, that's that. It's just the Idaho mentality, the you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my 
gosh, we're gonna make a freaking. We're gonna have you create a fly, like a big foam or fly, and mm -hmm. we're just gonna call it slow in the fast lane. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh. No, it's been super fun, but. The cool thing about Jimmy's is like the location that it's in. We, you know, everyone said, well, we need more parking. We need this, we need that. But it's actually been super fun to interact with the customers as they drive by or, you know, just see what's going on downtown. It's, it's an awesome location. Well, and I mean, being in downtown, I mean, you're not just having fly fishermen come in. Like with a lot of fly shops, you have your, I'm going to stop at the fly shop and head out to the river. But I mean, yeah. we have people that come to Idaho Falls uh, for the tourism aspect and they're just cruising through downtown and they stop in the shops and they, they want a t-shirt that says Idaho Falls on it. And there you go. Then yeah. you have t-shirts that say Idaho Falls on them. <laughs> and then they'll go and look at the fly bins or like the marabou on the wall. And they're just like, Holy Oh yeah. Crap. I mean, you, know? you can watch the windows yeah. and people just gawk at all the streamers and yeah, it's, it's a cool, I, the shop's I, uniquely situated with the windows and yeah people can see in it's a great location i you know it exceeded my expectations at least in terms of the you know there's a lot of advantages of where we are you know mm -hmm. you can't park your boat out front very easily but uh there are some spots and it's a great great location listen i'm gonna go off right now i had a boot on my foot all summer and i parked all the <laughs> oh, way across right. <laughs> and i had to walk in every every morning i don't want to hear it I know it's kind of fun to walk in the morning, but I'm kind of interested to see what it's going to look like in the winter when you <laughs> walk your block or two blocks down to the shop in the morning. <laughs> no doubt you're going to have to dress up like a, a snowman or a, not a snowman, a, someone who dresses warm in the wintertime. <laughs> hey, speaking of the wintertime, though, um, we are going to have some cool events at Jimmy's. One of the, the traditions at Jimmy's is starting in January, he would have these big events every Saturday. Yeah. And uh, we're going to keep that alive and well this winter time. So we're going to do a bunch of demos there. I have volunteered as a tribute, and I will go do a demo, and maybe even like some master class classes or something like that. But make sure that you pay attention to our social media feeds and newsletters come winter time right yeah is that when we're going to do it madison yep. am i allowed to go up there you're the manager i didn't even <laughs> ask you can i go tie uh i guess but you're only allowed to tie foam and hey, then you have to easy, go fish it in easy. in february easy i'll do it <laughs> listen i'm good at i'm good at fishing that kind of stuff but uh, you know we'll all probably be going up there we're, we're looking at maybe having some some bigger names from the industry yeah go up it's good good uh way to it gets a little colder up there than it does here but uh it's a good time to go in there and tie we've tied up there before and mm -hmm. it's a, a good crowd a lot of, a lot of good fly tires up there yeah well and what's cool is kind of talking with the people i mean that's been one of the number one questions we've been asked since the changeover took place is are you still going to do the demos are you still going to do the demos and um I mean, the community aspect that goes around it, you have a group of people that show up Saturday mornings, they have coffee and donuts and whatever, <laughs> and they watch people tie, and then they go out to lunch. And like, it sounds like a lot of people make an event and a yeah, day yeah, out of it, for sure. um, which is which is really unique to, to see something like fly tying bring people together like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah it's a good. It's a great community up there, like yeah. a very tight knit, lots of good people, so. And we're, we're working on a way that we can have the classes in a part of the shop that allows the rest of the shop totally open to shop. So And possibly live stream. And possibly live stream. Which will be yes. phenomenal. That yeah. Means, I'm going to let you guys work that out. That's why I'm looking back and forth like this, because I don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> we'll send Brig up there. We'll send Brig. <laughs> oh, geez. Well, I want Steve instead of Brig. <laughs> yeah, Brig Steve. will do it, but it will take... 17 hours. <laughs> Sorry, Briggs. I love you, buddy. Anyway, but yeah, there's going to be a lot of cool stuff. Um, we're about, I would say, halfway there with our inventory transition over. Um, we're kind of aiming toward next spring to be like fully, full fly fish food. Um, because I think getting, getting this shop help also helped us realize, you know, some of our own product mixes maybe need to be whittled or added or whatever so yeah it's an optimization process yeah. so it's been a, it's been quite a process right yeah <laughs> madison has to deal with like the she has to receive everything and well and i mean i 
I tied a little bit, but not like I'm not anywhere near the same level as She's a lot awesome. of these guys. And but I'm like, really, how many types of chenille could there possibly every be? Type. <laughs> yeah, every type. And so no, it's just kind of fun to see all the the materials come in and then kind of get to geek out on all the like specifics that go into it because it's like holy cow like some yeah. of this is actually really yeah. intense yeah. so Speaking well we, of, we will have about four times the number of fly tying products when all is said and done than uh, what was were we had the previous. what was yeah previously there with jimmy um which is you know jimmy had a great selection but i we're just taking it to 11. that's what i always tell people Spinal is down. we always wanted to be jimmy when we grew up when we were our yeah, shops, Jimmy's like, shop, like that was our, yeah. we loved so, going into Jimmy's. Like yeah. that was the epitome of a fly tying shop. Yeah. It, yeah. So we're super stoked that we can just kind of take it to that next, next level and continue on with the, you know, the tradition and, and just kind of build on it. So, you know, the, the one thing I was thinking is, um, and I want to get your, your take on this, but um, we have some pretty complicated processes just to kind of do day-to-day -day business like what was the biggest like the the craziest thing for you that was kind of unexpected or different <laughs> when question. you started with <laughs> I, us because I, I think a lot of people <laughs> think i'm gonna go to a fly shop i'm gonna sit yeah, out we're gonna chill <laughs> tie flies fishing. all day <laughs> um you know i really appre appreciate how involved it is and like all the the processes that go into i mean something that I mean, in, in other industries would just be seem simple, like ordering, like, and the different processes that go into to that and making sure we have the right product mix and uh, like hearing people's needs to make sure we're kind of dialed in on, oh yeah, what we might need in Utah might be a little bit different than what we need mm -hmm. in Idaho. And so yeah, um, kind of just hearing people that direction, I think has been like one of the biggest things. Mm -hmm. um, but it's been fun overall. Well, and I don't know, these guys are kind of nice to work for. I mean, well, you have to say that. I'll give you, I'll, uh, I won't dock your pay. I, I Newsflash, you're still working for us now. Right. So good, uh, good job. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've known Madison for, I don't know, like six or seven years. You know, we've worked pretty closely with Hyde on our fancy little high low boats that we love. But I mean, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm not a very little guy, and I've always felt nice and safe and comfy in my hide, so that's why I fish it. <laughs> there you but go. anyway, but we've, we've known Madison for a while, so when you applied for the job, we're like, all right, that, that would be... We were kind of worried that Madison's dad was going to come over and punch us in the face. <laughs> <laughs> he tried. How dare I, you steal her? I had to separate. Well, I got to him first. I said, hey, Matt. This was all Curtis's idea. <laughs> and then he came, I had to separate him, you know, so it no, was all good. What, what's cool is like how supportive uh, my family has been with kind of switching, yeah. switching over. And, and the nice thing is, is we still work together in different, I mean, we're both Idaho Falls companies and like if someone asks questions about a drift boat, they get sent over to Hyde. Or if people yeah. ask questions about flies over at Hyde, they get sent over to Jimmy. So, yeah. I mean, there's just a cool relationship yeah. for you know back what? and forth that direction. And, and Madison's husband, Alec, works at Hyde and he's a stud, but I, I bet he's getting sick of us sending people over there to get paper fishing licenses. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we still are not approved by the state. So uh, more and more people are figuring out the app and just doing it on your phone but really we're good marketing for the state <laughs> yeah. because they're like oh wait the idaho has an app and we're like yeah get the app <laughs> yeah, yeah they're like whoa the app so is the way to go i don't even need to come in here but alec over there he's yeah sh <laughs> anyway so yeah it's it's been fun to to work with with uh with the hide boats over the years um but honestly this whole thing like as you know we've never done this before so we're up there and you know trying to order enough grid wall to cover the walls and then we run out of pegs or, or hooks and we're scrambling every which way to get hooks and then we have hunter and henry there the the two young bucks that we affectionately call the knuckleheads and they're having to bend out every single oh. peg to get it to fit <laughs> and i'm like guys sorry but this is this is life now and they have absolutely killed it up there. I mean, yeah. Well, if you see either of those two guys, just give them a pat on the back. Pat on the back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's funny because 
there was a guy that came in just kind of hinting around that he may need a job that he doesn't want to be very serious so that's why he's looking at a fly shop and hunter and henry were just like sweat dripping i'm like oh see those guys they're that's living the dream fly shop <laughs> yeah <laughs> boy <laughs> it was funny he's like oh yeah maybe not anyway hey, i just heard it's brigham's birthday today oh it's brigham's birthday We've been I wish him a happy him. birthday. Happy birthday, Brig. <laughs> no, no, no. I already made a story. Oh, about it okay. On, nice. So go to our Instagram uh, page, and I'm putting a thing there for people to try to guess his age. Oh, uh, okay. He's that like 17 sense. now, isn't he? He's 17. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, you know, another year, and he's going to be an adult. He just can't wait till he can buy Copenhagen by himself. <laughs> his wife's older than him, and he sends her to the store for it. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, man. But anyway, yeah. Um, what else? Yeah, Man- Madison has jumped into not only inventory management and all the processes, but learning how to manage people and customers. And it's been fun. I've been yeah. learning, too, out there. <laughs> no, it's been cool. And I mean, it's, it's definitely different uh, to go from not really managing people to managing people and so but so there's been lots of learning that direction and but overall it's it's been really cool to interact with the team we have up there and we all get along really well and yeah it's that's just for a, sure a yeah, and i mean group. just the the whole uh, fly fishing culture up there is really good i mean it's a good fit for a shop and we you know we went and then we the whole thing started to come into play, you know, come together. We were just looking for, we got to have the right team. And, yeah. That was uh, the biggest we, worry. Yeah. That was really the biggest because, you know, I can figure out inventory until the cows come home and, uh, but it doesn't work if we don't have the right people in place. So. Well, and AJ and I were talking on Saturday. We're like, you know, it was kind of weird when we first got hired. Like it was a different dynamic. And we're like, we both didn't really know, like, like had a good feel for each other or like oh, what are they thinking pairing us together and um we talked on saturday like oh wow like we're actually a pretty good fit to work together um because like aj is an expert level level tire and yeah. um and i have a fair bit of retail experience and but AJ doesn't have like the retail experience, but I don't have the same tying ex- and so there's just like funny little nuances that yeah. works but it's yeah. just like um, well, more than anything, the the thing for us is, you know, obviously the experience side, but, you know, we have that, the active customer service model where we want to greet everybody. We want to make sure everyone gets that service. And you guys, you guys are really good at that. Yeah. So it only goes down when I get there. Yeah, so. for sure. You're not supposed to agree so <laughs> oh, wholeheartedly. Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Cheech Freak. is the best. I'm, where's my paper to read the statement I'm supposed to make about Cheech? <laughs> okay, that's two of those. Okay, um, so we let's talk about boats for a second. What's your favorite drift boat right now? What's So my husband and I run a skiff. We have the Hyde Montana skiff, and we love the versatility of that. Um, Hyde, where's my commission for me talking about yeah. boats, by the way? where is it? <laughs> um, I'll go talk to I know him pretty well. Um, I yeah, him. good. <laughs> um, so we really like the skiff and the versatility. Like, we, we've taken it through some different, like, class three kind of stuff because it has uh, a closed bow on the front, which is a little different than other skiffs. Yeah. So it'll break waves that direction. They're super easy to maneuver. It comes stock with a fair bit of storage. Mm-hmm. Um and so we'll go we have like a platform we built on the top that we'll go chase carp with or you um, let me stand on top of it right i think it's i think let's it's cheech it. proof so <laughs> oh, <that's awesome. laughs> i think shane wooten sta- stood on it oh, so yeah. if shane did uh you did can okay for sure. so imagine this shane and i went and fished with alex so shane wooten he's he's a fixture in the idaho scene he was over loop fly rods and he does he helps with the semper fly menu or yeah. distributing so he's he's a good dude he and i are about the same size big dudes and alec is not a giant man anyway he was rowing us down the river in my boat <laughs> like taking rapids it did great and he he never wants made it sound like it was tough but i you know he had to have been just done <laughs> he probably told you all about it when he got home no he's like i'm the toughest man in the world i can <laughs> row Cheech and shane all day long <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, 
So oh, he's like, man. how tough are you? He's got a picture of me and Shane. See this? Those two? Oh, man. <laughs> Freaking out. Oh, man. Anyway, yeah, it's it's a it's a good team. It's great fun. We were talking about boats, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, Montana Skiff. Montana Skiff. Which we may need to get one of those at some I point. I think we do. Yeah. We need a Montana Skiff and a Power Drifter or something like that. Oh, yeah. Not to take on the rivers in Idaho and make you guys mad. It's for other places. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, anyway, man. so we're fishing out of the high-low. AJ has the – I've fished out of AJ's boat, I think, once. And it's the, the low side, right? Yeah, the XL low profile. Except for, I don't know all the names. But uh, I've been super happy with those boats. Yeah. I and mean, I've fished out of a lot of boats. There's a lot of good boats out there. But I just like – you know, being my size and normal squatch size, being able to move around and be comfortable. For sure. Yep. Nope. They're uh, good boats and they row well and you can catch fish out of them. Speaking so. of which, we can let this out of the bag. We're getting a new boat. Again? Another new boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, the, the uh, aforementioned Alec is also a good arm twister. He pulled a he played a, he pulled a fast one on me. But anyway, so we'll get a new, a new colorway on that boat. It'll be cool. And ours is sold, right? Oh yeah, yeah. That didn't take too long. No. So no. Sorry so, guys. So if anyone wants to buy a drift boat two years from now, <laughs> speak now. We're forever hold your peace. There you go. Anyway, well, what else do we need to talk about, Madison? Oh, this is what the people need to know. Oh my gosh. You're an avid upland bird hunter. Yes. And you have three creatures. I do Tell us three. about those. So I have three Deutsch Kurtzars, which are the original German lines of the German short hair. And their names are Cody. He's four. KC is just over a year. And then we have Cora that is, what, five months now? So it's a uh, handful. Yes. That is. <laughs> but they're they're fun. We were talking uh, the other day because normally like September rolls around and we're in full bird hunting mode. But fishing has been so good that it's hard to like yeah. switch the uh, flip the switch to go like say, oh, yeah, no, it's hunting season. But it's also been pretty toasty. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, we we do the German testing system with them. So we we hunt them, we train them. Um, they're Super cool dogs. Yeah. They're they're awesome. I mean, we're dog people, obviously, so we had to bring up the pups. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's it's fun watching you and Alec go and like, because some of those birds are not easy to find and not easy to hunt, and you guys always seem to get them. Yeah, I seem to have trouble sneaking up on stuff. Yeah, well, Alec and I are five four, and you're seven twelve. So. <laughs> <laughs> That means, <laughs> yell me. yeah, I would be the tallest guy, an eight footer. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Well, um, I think that's it, I think right? That's about all we have. We talked about the dogs. This is right in line, 30 minutes each one of these episodes. Usually, when Lance is here, we can't get him to be quiet, so they go like <laughs> 45 <laughs> minutes or so. But we're on a little bit of a streak. We're on of a streak. podcasts, so. That's that's a big win for us. If you didn't notice, that's us patting ourselves on the back. Because we get so many requests. Yeah. When's your next podcast? I'm like, man, we're just, we've got this whole studio. So in the comments here on YouTube or wherever you're seeing this, that you can leave us con or comments. Tell us what you want us to talk about. Yeah, we need some topics. Like a recurring theme. A, yeah. uh, some types of things like that. I mean, the entomology ones have been really cool. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that's killer. like. We've got another one of those coming up. Oh, nice. Yeah. Filmed it last week. We Roger talk about. is back. Metamorphosis. Yeah. Oh, we have like stuffed animals we were playing with. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because Roger treats me like a student in class. <laughs> you know, I say, no, Cheech. Oh, if you would man. Just... <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, stay tuned. For... Those, are, those are gold, Mr. Yeah. Gold. Gold from Mr. Gold. And gold from Ms. Losey. Anyway, this is Madison. Go see her at Jimmy's. Um, you're there most days, right? We don't need yeah. to tell people what your exact schedule is. No. You can figure it out. Go <laughs> and say hi. Out. Go and, We're go right and downtown nice... Idaho Falls, 275 yeah. A Street. And you're going to have a lot of selection there. Yes. Have, what, like 120 rods on the wall right now? 
Yeah, something like that. 4,500 flies, and I don't even know how a many growing fly Growing amount of fly tying materials. Every week more. Every week more. Yep. And crazy, pro- crazy. Probably listening to some good music in there, too. Yeah. All it's right. the only country there, right? What? What? I need to get there Thursday. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Madison. Hey, thank you guys. Peace, Peace out. out.